Hey, stay away from that never. I'm nowhere near it. You can tell when you're lying because your lips are moving. Wake up, you lazy bastard. Hey. Hey. You know the laughing at? Oh. oh, she's cooking for me now. I must be dying. Can you feed it to me? Of course. Are you feeling weak again? Am I Brooklyn? No, no, no. I'm just tired. Any word on Angie? She can't get a flight. Mm. Says she's trying though. Sure. Won't be too tough on her. Life's too short. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I probably won't see her again. Something to hold on for, isn't it? <laughs> nah. That's it now. It's a shame. We're so close to her birthday. I met my Steve on her 25th, you know. That's when he met me too. We was at the same night. Yeah. It was a great night that was. Mm. I remember. He used to come and pick her up from work every night in that shitty red car. <laughs> <laughs> I thought back then you were so handsome. Opinions change now, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and she said she was having this party. And that you were going to be there. Mm. I couldn't wait to meet you properly. <laughs> Stalker. And then you're left with Steve. And you dated him. And you broke up with him and then you dated him again. And you got married. And all the time it was just me on the side. And then Steve, bless him, he died. And then you moved in here with me, plan B. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great now. told you. You are not doing this now. Look, I love you. And I've been a coward all these years. I meant to tell you. It's too late now to do anything about it unless you want to get married on your deathbed. <laughs> I need to know, did I ever stand the chance? I cannot believe you're doing this now. Can I have nothing? What do you mean? I'm on my deathbed and you're making it all about you? I need to know. Talk about stealing me thunder. Well then the answer is no. There was no chance of us getting together since you asked. 
me? Haven't you seen me? I'm gorgeous. Perfect ten. Look at you. You're like a garden gnome. Oh, I mean, you are taking the piss, aren't you? Jesus Christ, Charlie. Is that why you've never had a boyfriend all these years? Twenty years I've known you. Yeah, I was waiting around for you. <laughs> what you do? Wasted your life. You could have got married. You could have had kids. Instead, you wasted your life waiting for me. Any other way? Well, now you've got no choice. I'm gonna be gone soon. You have to get on with your life. Go out and meet someone. You fool. I'm being serious. The minute my heart stops beating, you go out there and the small man's bar on Canal Street and you find yourself a nice book. You meet someone. You get on with your life. You hear me? You don't waste one second thinking about me. You spent enough of your life doing that already. Have you got it? Yeah. You've got it? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Because if you don't, I'll come back and I'll haunt you. Keep you awake all night, rattling me chains. <laughs> no chance. Now get out. You need me sleeping. Take your shot. Come on, rise and shine. Wake up, lazy To Charlie. If you're reading this, then I've snuffed it. Hopefully I didn't die naked. And if I did, I expect you to dress me before the police arrive. And um, no peeking. Hopefully you haven't read this before I died because I'm not just writing you a nice letter to help you cope with your horrendous loss. I'm writing to confess something to you. I love you. I always have. And I'm telling you this in the letter after I'm dead because well, I'm a coward and I was scared that you might take the piss. Without me around, I'm scared you'll feel lonely and... Well, here's what I want you to do. You put this letter down, you go out of the house to an old man's bar on Canal Street. 
you find yourself a nice fella, a friend, a lover, a partner, someone to have adventures with, to sit in and watch telly with. Yeah, Most of all, be happy. Love, James.